All right, let's wrap up 2.5 connecting the limit definition to a derivative. So once again, we're looking directly to see what is a and what is the derivative. So here I say a equals three. And if this is x, then f of x equals x to the fourth. So let me check, f of three is three to the fourth, which is 81, check. So this is really telling me to find the derivative of this function at this value. So f prime of x equals four x cubed using the power rule. And so f prime of three equals four times three cubed. So we evaluated this as a derivative instead of a limit. Moving on to the second one, once again, looking at this, I would say a equals five, f of x equals x to the one fourth power. So f of five is five to the one fourth, check. So this is telling me to find the derivative of f of x at this value. f prime of x equals 1 fourth x to the negative 3 fourths. f prime of 5 is 1 fourth times 5 to the negative 3 fourths. So this limit as a derivative equals 1 fourth times 5 to the negative 3 fourths. So once again, this is unsimplified, acceptable for the AP. Moving on to number three, here I can see that A to me should be negative one. And if I'm checking here, F of X equals negative two over X minus three. So now I will check to make sure that when I plug in negative one, I get my f of a value. So now this is telling me to find the derivative of this function at negative one. f prime of x, I'm going to use the product rule, I'm sorry, quotient rule. This is my high, this is my low. So doing the quotient rule, doing the quotient rule, it's low d high, the derivative of a constant is zero, minus high d low, square the bottom, and away we go. So this first term goes to zero, so this is actually positive two over x minus three squared. So f prime of negative one, I'm just plugging negative one into this function, two negative one minus three squared. So this is evaluating this limit as a derivative. And once again, this is not simplified, but acceptable for the AP. Last but not least, I have another function. For me, I see that a should equal pi over four. And if this is x, f of x is tangent x. So now let's see Let's make sure f of pi over four is tangent of pi over four, which is one. So we know we did it correctly. So now f of x is, um, I'm sorry, f prime of x using um, our trig derivatives, the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. So f prime of pi over four is secant of pi over four, whatever that value is squared. So secant squared just means we're squaring our secant. So in case we've forgotten, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, one, one square root two ratio. So secant of 45 is a, a, a hypotenuse over adjacent. So that is square root of two squared or two. So this limit derived as a derivative is two. So this is a great connection between recognizing the derivative as a limit and then connecting all of our different differentiation rules to calculate 
that limit. So let me know if you have any questions about this.